You know, I think the best way to start this video would be to ask you a, a fun little question, sort of a little bit of a joke. Let's get into this with a with a fun little goof, a gaff. Let's do a funny. Let's do a big, big funny. Okay, guys? Are you ready? Here it is. What does the credibility of the person I'm going to be talking to you about today and Harambe, what do they have in common? They're both fucking dead. That is also thematically appropriate because the name of the person I'll be talking about is Unfunniest. Give you a little history on this person. Unfunniest is a small, small commentary channel that tends to focus on allegations around people in the commentary community or on YouTube in general. Um, so basically, Unfunniest, he brands his channel as the exposer of creeps. An entire channel dedicated to what he says is documenting allegations against people, which on its own, you know, I can't stand the biggest fan of the idea alone, but if it's just documenting other people's allegations without inserting your own opinion or falsehoods in there, whatever. If that's what you want to do, go for it. I don't give a shit. But Unfunniest has a little bit of a track record now of taking really extreme liberties with the truth. Now, for those of you who watch RFC Live, you may be pretty familiar with what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Unfunniest made a couple of comments towards one of my friends, Progress, a fellow commentator, and they weren't exactly true, and he tried to walk them back on stream a lot. And I'm going to just show you a couple clips, just so you can see, in the span of one stream, how much his story continuously changed. So these first few clips are going to come from before Unfunniest getting on the stream to actually talk and defend himself. Basically, Tazia broke up with progress. Uh, Tazia's progress's uh, girlfriend, not the same as the fourteen-year-old, by the way. And uh, Unfunny's yeah. made a tweet. I'm getting. Uh, I'm actually creasing. Imagine being heartbroken after getting dumped by progress. Grow a pair. Obviously, shitty thing to do. Doesn't go without saying. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Eh? Like, there's not even you know any humor, whatever, whatever. I I, I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's just kind of mean. But. However, when uh, when that is uh, brought into question, people obviously ta uh, progress himself has some choice words to say um, to him. Even though you know he was you know taking shot at uh, Tazir, I believe their their breakup was you know amicable. So obviously he came in and he said something like, "Shut the fuck up, you insensitive moron! Way to show how much of a dickhead you are when you're going through a difficult time." Now his response to this, ah, uh, his big brained high IQ level response to this. You fucked a 14-year-old. Gotcha. Fucking exposed, boys. Got him. Got him. Completely the invalid. exposer of creeps over here. Now, you can clearly see in this tweet that Unfunniest had told Progress that he fucked a 14-year-old. That is a technically true statement, but the problem is it left out so much context about the situation that it turned itself into a lie of omission. Now, you might be thinking, wow, fucking a 14-year-old. Yeah, it does kind of sound a little pedophilic. Yeah, except for the fact that he's a high schooler, which is kind of an important detail to leave out of the situation. Matter of yeah. fact, the first reply here is when he was a minor, 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 minor. To give you some of the backstory on what he's talking about here, I'm going to show you a clip from I'm Alex the Equivocator 2, an upload progress made as of last summer. So basically the way that it worked was that there was a few people who decided to, as a meme, try and call me a nonce or what is known as a pedophile to most people. And it was because at the time I had just turned like 17, like three months before that. And I was dating a girl who was two and a half years younger than me who went to my school. We only ended up dating for a month exactly, like on the dot from the time we started dating to the time we ended. And you know, we ended up breaking up for very serious reasons. And one of them was mainly because my mental health wasn't exactly on the top of her priority list when it came to how she treated me. So it's a very serious situation. If you want to know more, you can DM me about it. I don't care. It's just this video isn't really the time for it. The joke was supposed to be that I was dating somebody who was younger than me. That was the equivalent. That was really all the meme was, was just, haha, he's dating somebody younger than him. And people got a little bit of a laugh out of it, but it spiraled way the fuck out of control. Like, I don't even know how it got to this point but I just heard the worst version of it. Somebody came to me about a month and a half ago and they told me that they were told from somebody else that I was 21 dating a 12 year old. This obviously pissed me the fuck off because I was like, how the fuck did this thing from over a year ago turn into people saying that I was literally like an actual pedophile. Like the joke was supposed to be that I was just dating somebody younger than me. It wasn't supposed to be that I actually was a pedophile. Now, there are a couple things I'd like to point out about this clip. One, Progress never said that he slept with the person. 
Progress only said that they dated the person for about a month. There's no, there's no admission here of sex even occurring. Not only that, Progress even says himself he had just turned 17 and it was a two and a half year difference. That's a big fucking difference when you actually look at it that way. Because Progress right now is about 19 years old. So if you tried to leave out the fact that Progress was not an adult at the time, it looks, it makes it look way fucking worse than it actually was. Cause what it actually was, was two high schoolers having a bit of a fling. What he made it sound like is that a 19 year old had sex with a 14 year old. That is incredibly different. Not only that, this clip has existed for over a fucking year. Sure, it's only got about 6,000 views. Maybe it's not in the limelight, but it sure as shit ain't fucking invisible either. It's not like it's a state fucking secret. It's not an Illuminati fucking cover-up. The fact that he was aware, even, that this was a 14-year-old, and he took these creative liberties, changing dated to fucked, because we've only got it confirmed that they've dated... Progress himself has not confirmed that they had any kind of intercourse whatsoever in that very short time frame. So the simple fact that he's changing it from dated to fucked, and also leaving out the fact that Progress was also a high schooler, a 17-year-old kid, he's either A, lying to win a fucking argument, which is bad, or B, too fucking incompetent to know how to fact check properly, which is fucking worse. But now that we've got that little bit of context put in there, how about we see a few of the clips from when Unfunniest actually got on stream to defend himself? Let's roll a few of those right fucking now. We fucking destroyed him in that. <laughs> I forgot well, how much we fucking guess did what? that. Guess what? We, mi we might do it again. Oh boy. Unfunny, Bernie, you're on the air. What is happening? Uh, what's what going happening? on, man? Like, what's with all the false off, fucking allegations, dude? This if shit is... you're gonna say some things to me, right, okay? You're gonna argue about the semantics of someone who's from the UK about the word nonce, man. Yeah, guess you, what? Like, Not everyone's from the UK, so, so if you use the word nonce, that America. implies Not pedophilia. No, not doesn't. everyone from the UK. You are not from a UK. You're from America. Okay. You don't understand this month. Yeah, and that's the problem. When, when, when oh, that's really? the fucking wait, problem. Wait, 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 We're not from the UK. We're from the US. A lot of people from the US. So when you use the word fucking nonce, that implies pedophilia. Stupid. Stupid. You're fucking dumb. Because I called on your mate a fucking. He fucked the 14 year old. He fucked the 14 year old. Can you say yes or no to that? Yeah, legally, in his country. He had legal sex in his country. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. What are you yeah. even go on about there? He fucked the 14-year-old. The word nonce so? means stupid and creepy in the UK. Now, we have just established he used the word nonce because apparently it means creep, despite the fact that the definition was looked up and creep is not there. Called progress a nonce, which means creep. Which means creep. It does not mean creep. It does not mean creep. Let's find out what the word nonce I've means. heard no one say it means creep, except for him. I know it's used lightly as a joke, as like a joking term in the UK, but it also still means <sighs> you're a pedophile. Nonce, let's see. Uh... No, uh, UK citizen here. Nonce means pedo, but sometimes it's used as idiot. Yeah, but the context he was using it in was clearly okay. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. If he off. genuinely meant to say the word idiot, let's let let's give him the benefit of the doubt here fully yes. and say he genuinely meant to call him an idiot. Why the fuck are you mentioning the age of the girl he had sex with? He is still insisting that that is how he used it and that is the way it is known. I want that to be clear right now. These were his fucking words. When you're uh, making these tweets and making uh, these comments, people from the U.S. and the U.K. are going to see it. You're serving to people mm. from U.S. and the U.K. all around the world. And I understand that you shouldn't give priority to, like, N.A. over U.K. or any other country. But the thing is, um, if, you don't, if you don't use that language in the U.K., it won't really affect the U.K. people, but it will uh, heavily benefit the interpretation of your message in America. So why not just avoid using that problematic uh, language that has these cultural barriers. Okay, part and just... of my idiot, that's the difference. A lot of the people in the UK have yeah, a certain but, idiot but, because but, of the way it, they're from. Never mind the fact it doesn't make any fucking sense why he would replace the word creep with nonce, considering he has the word creep in his Twitter bio. Not only that, they have the same number of fucking letters, so it's not even a matter of trying to just be concise for Twitter. Like, this, it's not even like a fucking thing that would cross somebody's fucking mind, considering creep is also in his, you know, 
normal vernacular as we've established on his fucking Twitter. But let's move past that. Like, listen, I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make a point. I'm gonna make a point and I'm gonna be calm about it. I'm gonna be Normally, as calm as possible. Alright? Right? 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 Listen, would, here's like... the problem. When you brand yourself as the exposer of creeps, all right, mm-hmm. and you it, and you say he fucked a fourteen year old and then you say nonce. Obviously, people are going to walk away with a very different interpretation of your words than what you may intend. And that's me giving you the benefit of the doubt. If what you're but saying is you truthful, back, and that's I what you... I was listening to what you were saying, and what I was actually saying in that. So, he said he was 17 years old, right? He's 17 years yeah. old, he fucked a 14-year-old. Yeah. It is, it is a he- a hebophilia there, and it also falls under being a nonce because somebody Hebe- in the chat... Like, hebophilia is a crime, I, I, and you I, yourself I, admitted I, that it was I, legal it, in his country. It, it, but see, right here, now he's insisting Progress is a hebophile because he fucked a 14-year-old. But the thing is, he can't be a hebophile because, one, it's never been confirmed that they had sex, and two, he was 17, and by definition, a hebophile has to be a fucking adult. Progress can't be a fucking hebophile if he wasn't an adult when he was dating the 14-year-old. That's fucking retarded. Not only that, it kind of spits in the whole theory of that I was calling him a creep when you literally just accused him of an actual fucking crime. Yeah. It is, it is a hebophilia there, and it also falls under being a non But whatever, let's move past that again. Um, so, when I look up the definition of the word nonce, I get, um, it's coined, or, like, coined for or used on one occasion, but then there's an informal definition, which would be your slang definition, and it is a British origin that says a person convicted of a sexual offense, especially child molesting. So um, the slang so the word you are on nonce is British uh, slang, derogatory of sex offender, especially one who's guilty of sexual offenses against children. The book who lives at number 53 is a nonce. The second informal use of it is a stupid or worthless person. Shut it, you nonce. So that's my, so, that's my context. So your definition, it. your context is a satirical term for a child fucker. No. No, it's not? Okay, so then what is it? I mean, so, so, look, there's, another, there's another etymology for it. I've um, put a picture of it in image share. Uh, the second etymology is a stupid or worthless person, which is... That's what I mean, and that's what I'm basing it on. Notice that he's just walked it back yet again when confronted with the other definition of what nonce meant. Nonce was just pointed out to mean idiot or worthless person when it doesn't mean sex offender, which we've established he kind of believes him to be. Mind you, believes is the operative word. And now he's confirmed that he was calling him an idiot or a worthless person, but that's not what he's been saying this entire time. He's been saying on Twitter, in this exact same stream as well, he was saying creep. This doesn't... He's looking for a fucking out. It's so fucking obvious here. He's such a fucking retard that he doesn't he doesn't understand that he did not just a little bit of a funny, it wasn't a little bit of a joke, a goof. No, you get you through a serious fucking accusation to somebody, one that could ruin his fucking life, and has been actively haunting this person for over a fucking year. And now you're trying to act like you didn't fucking do that. Like you were just saying, oh, I was calling him a creep. Wait, I was actually calling him an idiot. No, I was saying he was worthless. Wait, no, he's a hebophile, so I wasn't actually wrong, but he's just a creep or an idiot, and I'm not calling him like Stay fucking consistent, dude. You're all over the goddamn map. All right, Goose Fraba, Goose Fraba. Got a little heated right there. I'm just going to calm down just a little bit. We're going to Goose Fraba this one out. Just give me a second. I just need a moment. I think at the end of the day, the basic point is that Unfunniest seems to really desire that whole spotless, undefeated record. But the problem is, undefeated records are really impressive for a reason. They're almost fucking impossible to maintain through a consistent period. You're going to miss a step and lose. You're going to get a story wrong. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with getting a story wrong as long as you can own it, recognize it, and apologize for it. And the fact that Unfunniest is consistently changing the narrative within the context of the same fucking stream, changing it multiple times to whatever he needs it to be, just so that he can avoid actually being wrong, or at least admitting that he's fucking wrong, because he is objectively wrong, that is fucking retarded that is beyond retarded that's insanity like you can't just say oh i'm not wrong because this reason but then this reason instead then that reason instead but also this reason it doesn't work that way that's life's not fucking burger king you can't always have it your fucking way dude you know i hope you've enjoyed listening we have a bit of an aneurysm at you for uh, about the past 10 minutes or so um links to the artists who do my character stills are in the description and the pinned comment below in addition, there are links to Augie's channel, Bo Black's channel, and Progress's channel, as well as links to the stream, 
that these clips came from, as well as a uh, link to I'm Alex the Equivocator 2, which is the source for where all of this sort of spiraled out of control from last year. I would appreciate you checking all of those guys out and those videos out. My own social media links are also in the description, as well as a link to the Discord server. Feel free to join, pop in, say hi, and I will catch you guys later.